this block is a buttercup bold block that is that the seed buttercup bold seed material has been planted over here in this block it's a 2.7 acre small block it's an exclusive block it is touching to the sacred groves that is the, we have a huge sacred grove over here of the evergreen rainforest so the evergreen rainforest gives us a huge species of native trees over there which are hosts for the different vectors that pollinate the coffees. Uh, that is the bees, the wasps, some butterflies and a whole lot of flying insects. They actually help pollination of the, of the coffees. This buttercup bold strain or selective bred coffee was the first buttercup bold was a small patch of land in Kutta Paltope state where my father got the strain from coffee board he planted it in a small one acre block he waited for it to grow and uh, he saw the plants he chose the best plants over there and he chopped and removed all the other plants and he replanted the seed of that plant back into that area and again watched it grow and again removed all the unwanted plants so this was a selective bred coffee what the farmer thought was the best coffee not what the the uh, lab technician or the experts thought what the farmer thought was the best mm -hmm. coffee is what he thought and this is, these are the, the coffee bale seeds that were taken from that plot yes. and propagated mm -hmm. okay. the, the, the word but the, this was called by Mrs. Sunalni Menon the coffee lab uh, the, the cup taster India's best cup taster she conned this, this coffee, she was, she was asked to describe the coffee. So she said this has got a buttery note and I said what, why butter? She says when you have an aftertaste, you get a smooth aftertaste in your, in your throat like if you swallowed a lump of butter, you get a smooth aftertaste and you, you can recall the coffee. So she called and the beans were really really bold. Like uh, you see the beans over there, that's mm -hmm. not the size of a, a canafora. It's much, much bolder than a can of mm -hmm. So she called it buttercup bold coffees. Yeah. So that's how the buttercup bold coffees came into existence. Yeah. So it, your father already had the idea, no, yeah. we are going to go for... No, just he, did, he, he just wanted to grow the best coffee. Yes. So when he went to the research station, there were hundreds of coffee beans over there, all over the place. And he spent time and he looked at the plants and said, okay, this plant looks, it should do well in my place. So he asked for a few seeds, he brought it down, he must have got about 500 plants or 300 plants or whatever. He put it on a small block, he waited for it to grow, he had the best shade on that. I'll show you the block, it's again natural shade. Uh, and from there he took out the plants which didn't satisfy him. He just chopped it, pulled it, uprooted it, threw mm. it away, took the seed from the plants that he thought was the best, replanted it over there. Yeah. And three generations went up and that's how we got the word buttercup bowl. Yeah.